Salut, David Wallman here. Today I just want to show you what a map track is, how to use them, and why I think it's the greatest tool out there to learn how to improvise. A map track is a visual backing track. When you open the map track, you're going to have several informations here. The keys involved, in this case B Aeolian, C Sharp Aeolian. The tempo, which is very useful if you want to download the backing track. Import the backing track into your sequencer so that all the measures are going to line up to the tempo that you specified and the style of music involved. Let's uh, work with this particular map track and I'll pause it every once in a while just to show you the different elements and how to use it. Let's check it out. So the first thing you're going to have is a scale diagram. If you follow the scale diagram, you'll be in key. If you play any of these notes, you'll be fine. And I listed all the intervals so that you can hear the sound of a root, a major second, and so forth. pause it here. We move to a next position. We're still in the key of B Aeolian as specified on this diagram, but in a different position. Now there's a new element here that is very important to really understand how to use a map track, and those are the square notes. Square notes are very important. That means that you're going to have a change of key really soon. If you look on the bottom right of the diagram, you will see that next key that is coming up soon, C sharp Aeolian. So we're going to modulate to C sharp Aeolian. Those square notes, that's where it's important, those square notes are common to the next key. In other words, if you look at the first string, ninth fret, there is a square note there, which is a major second in this case. If you land on that major second and the chord changes to the next key, you'll still be okay because that particular note is also found in the next key. Same for all these square notes. So when you see a square note, you're going to improvise in the, the diagram that is listed, but you want to try to aim one of these square notes. That's a safe note. So let's give it a try. And as I improvise, I'm going to try to land on the second string 12th fret. So I'm going to try to target that note, and I'm going to stay on that note while the backing track changes keys. Let's check it out. Fine, and we're now in C sharp Aeolian. That created a smooth transition. Let's continue improvising in C sharp Aeolian. So now we're covering a wider area of the fretboard, but same principle in the square notes. So this is how a map track works. Just be musical, stay within the guideline, and see what happens. Square notes again. I'm going to try to land on this note, which is a square note, third string, fourth fret. going with the same map track and, and just follow these guidelines. If there's a note you like, try to see what kind of interval it is so that you can use that in a, for, in a following improvisation. So you can see the color of the fourth, third, second. Now, you're 
allowed to venture in the white notes. But this is just to kind of teach you how to phrase and improvise in a particular area of the fretboard. Now, end your lead. You know that you're getting close to the end. You can experiment with landing notes. I'll try to land on the second. That's how you improvise over a map track. There's a lot of map tracks on the website added daily every Monday, a big update with new map tracks, new backing tracks, new licks. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to use map tracks. Um, check out guitarplayback.com. There's all these map tracks are available. You can sign up for a free trial, free three day trial. And uh, I would love to hear from you and see if you find these tools useful. Thanks a lot, and I will see you very soon. And until then, salut.